Girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna finally be testing the new Revolution Pro uh, collection. They came out with this new collection that's like all gold and stuff, and I literally just got it in the post, so I thought I'd test it for you guys. But first, I know I've been gone for a little while. I was on my family vacation. We went away to Spain. It was amazing. I don't know if you could tell, I've got a tan. We was living our best beach life. But we are back now, and my kids are also on holiday half term not half term summer holidays so six weeks they're gonna be at home so my videos might not be as consistent as I want them to be but I'm definitely gonna keep trying but unfortunately I had a reaction to some clay mask I got this new clay mask and I thought oh let me try it and my whole face broke out as soon as I took it off it broke out in like these red bumps all over my face so I've just spent the week like healing my skin it's still not 100% back to what it was unfortunately but it is doing a lot better than how it was doing um at the beginning of the week so I thought I'd just film this little video for you guys anyways enough rambling let's just go ahead and get started now I am starting with no brows which is like a shocker I always start with brows but this collection actually has a brow collection um they have brow gels I think this is the first brow gel revolutions ever done they don't even have it in their normal revolution line and they also have a brow pencil but first we're going to start with primer so they came out with two primers we have the hydra matte primer which is a hydrating primer serum so i'm interested to see how it's hydrating and matte then we also have the goddess glow primer which is a radiance primer serum so the fact that these are called serum i'm like leaning towards skincare primers so i think today i'm gonna go in with the hydra matte primer so of course the box is gold and i haven't taken this out yet what does it look like it actually looks very luxe don't you think with the gold lid and the like glass bottle so it does come with a pump i'm just gonna pump this onto my finger so it seems to be like a creamy liquidy type of formulation i'm just gonna put that onto the center of my face feels really smooth it does feel like a cream serum it doesn't feel oh that's close to my eye it doesn't feel matte so far but we'll see it feels really hydrating and like creamy to be honest with you guys i'm not holding out for a mattifying hydrating primer they're kind of like two different things you know what i mean you either hydrate or you mattify you can't really do both i don't know that's my opinion so there's no foundation in this line i'm just going to go in with the revolution conceal and define in f 13.2 now before my holiday this was my good shade but i don't know if it's gonna match me so oh and that, ooh, <laughs> I forgot to do my brows. I always do brows before foundation, so we're gonna do that. They've sent me two shades. By the way, all of this stuff was sent to me, but this video is not sponsored. They haven't asked me to do this video. These are the Define and Fill Brow Pencil. I have ash brown and dark brown, so of course I'm gonna go for dark brown. It feels pretty heavy, like it feels pretty weighty. Um, I don't know if that's because of the gold lids. Let me take that off. Yeah, the gold lids have a bit of weight to it. So it does come with a spoolie on one side and then a twist up brow pencil on the other. I'm not really a brow pencil type of person. I am more of a brow pomade type of person because, you know, I have barely have any brows. So brow pomades just seem to give me the thickness and like the finish that I like. So anyways, we're going to try this. Okay, so it's not super waxy and creamy. It does feel pretty... What's the word? Hard? But not hard. I don't know. How to explain it it's applying really really well this is so weird to me because i haven't used a pencil in years not years but like forever not forever in ages that's the word ages i think that was relatively quick and easy and it looks really good i like the color it's not too cool tone but it's definitely not too warm i think it matches my hair pretty well right now so what i'm gonna do is take the spoolie side and just brush that for oh that is a soft spoolie you know some spoolies like proper scratch your skin this one feels really really soft so i've actually got new neighbors and they've decided to fix i don't know if you guys can hear that but they're like drilling and banging and fixing up the house and yeah it is what it is i'm gonna go in with a brow gel now so i have clear ash brown warm brown and dark brown which look like that i am of course gonna go with dark brown gold lid once again and they have like the color on the tube Just applying that to my hairs. With brow gels, it's kind of hard to give a first impressions because I need to know if it keeps my hairs like in place all day. So it's kind of like a testing thing. Okay, so that is my brow more or less done. I'm gonna go in with concealer and clean up on the bottom and top. 
Okay, you know what? I really, really like that so far. The reason I don't use pencils is because it never gives me the darkness and like the color on my tail the way that pomades do. But this is giving me a really nice, like believable tail because as you can see, I barely have a tail. So I have to create this dark illusion and I really, really like that. Okay guys, and I'm back. So my brows are now done and I did put foundation on. I did go in with the 13.2 from the Conceal and Define foundation. And luckily it still matches me pretty well. So thank God. God. now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow so they actually released three new eyeshadow palettes they have these two which look like this uh, the black one is called earth and stone and then the white one is called night and day so the packaging is like textured I don't know if you guys can see that on camera and then also the palette on the inside is textured so really luxe feeling I have already looked at these palettes and they are like a baked formula so this is what they look like the shimmers are stunning I haven't swatched any of them but they look stunning I don't think it will pick up on camera I hope it does but they have these little sparkles to it they look really really nice this brown and black look matte but the rest of them are like satin and then these ones are like shimmery type of glitters so yeah this is the night and day palette and once again they are like a baked type of formula and the shimmers in here are just stunning I don't know if you guys can see this is like white with blue glitter this is that blue brown duochrome this gold is stunning so once again they are kind of all shimmery satin colors apart from maybe this brown and this brown and then the black as well and then last but not least they released this gold one which is called new neutral which might what <laughs> might remind you of the new nude palette from uh, Huda Beauty. So this is what the inside looks like. It's got like this cheetah print and then these are the shades on the inside. So I think it is a Huda Beauty dupe. So because my last video was literally comparing Huda Beauty to the Technic one, I'm not gonna use this palette again because I think I'm gonna come out with like the same look. But if you do want me to do a video comparing this dupe to the Huda Beauty one, definitely let me know and I can work on that for a video. But for today, I'm really intrigued to see how these come out on the eyes. I don't see any transition color in this palette apart from this one, but it is a shimmer. I am gonna quickly prime my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer. I got this recently, I've used it once, and so far I really, really like it. It is kind of similar to the uh, P. Louise one, but of course this is a lighter shade than what I have from P. Louise. This one's kind of like a porcelain ivory type of shade, but once you like sheer it out on the lid, it doesn't come out too light if you know what I mean. So yeah, very pigmented. So I'm gonna start this, ooh, pigmented, into the crease. That's very dark as well, wow. I might need to use another shade to blend this out because this is really, really deep. By the way, I always get asked about brushes. This is the NYX number 16 brush. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into that shade next to it, this one here, and I'm gonna use that to diffuse it into the crease light pressure kind of looks pinky definitely has a sheen to it though but it seems to be applying really really well i don't know if the sheen in the crease is really my thing but there is no other mattes in the palette that first one apart from the black that first brown is a matte it's quite cool toned compared to what I usually go for. It is really kind of gray, even though in the palette they do look warm. Like this one looks warm and this one looks like a warm brown, but on the eyes it has come out a bit gray. It's like I'm loving the formula, but I'm not loving the colors so far. We'll see, let's get the shimmer on the lid. So I'm gonna go into this gorgeous, this shade here. Ooh, can you guys see that? It is like a pinky, but it has a hint of gold. It is duochrome for real, for real. Like it's pink in some lights, but then when you lean it back, can you guys see the gold? Stunning, that is this shade here. Ooh. Wow, pigment. So I'm literally just dabbing that all over the lid, even towards the outer V as well. I'm still on my first dip. I haven't like dipped my finger back into the pan, but look. 
I doubt the camera is doing this justice. In real life, it's like so sparkly and glittery and duochrome. Why does it look so crap on camera? But in real life, it looks so sparkly and pinky and glittery. Okay guys, and I'm back. So I've gone ahead and put some lashes on. These are the Doll Beauty lashes in Coco. And also I took one of the shades from the night and day palette and put it on my inner corner. This is the white shade with like blue glitters in it. This one down here. I just put that on my inner corner just to like bring a pop of something different i also took a quick video on my phone with flash so you guys can see the true glitteriness of this um eyeshadow because i really don't think that my camera's picking it up well enough so i took a quick video on my phone and i'm going to insert that for you guys so you can see just how good this eye looks so now we're going to move on to concealer they did come out with this ultimate coverage crease proof concealer it says it contains hyaluronic acid collagen anti um oxidants and peptides so it's kind of like a skincare concealer I guess I got the shade 13.2 which is like the same shade as the foundation that I use so I don't know if it's going to be brightening I might need to use a little bit of something else on top just to brighten it I did also get this brightening and tightening illuminating concealer but it's in the shade ivory so <laughs> So yeah, this is what this concealer looks like. It's in that gold packaging once again. And let's see what they have. Is it a doe foot? Oh no, it's a squeeze tube. So I guess I'm gonna squeeze this onto the back of my hand. Oh, it seems to be very thick. Look at that. Can you guys see that? It is very thick. It kind of reminds me of the concealer they already have. So let's see the coverage of this. Yeah, it feels really thick. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about oh it feels like sticky as well. I could definitely use it as like a face concealer, but underneath my eyes, I don't I don't know. Have you guys seen Fighting Temptations when the guy's like, I won't do it? That's how I feel about this concealer. I won't do it. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take a small bit underneath my eye. Let's see how this blends with a sponge. Okay, it doesn't feel that thick and sticky with a sponge, but then again, I can't actually feel it. It's the sponge doing it, do you know what I mean? It looks really hydrating and really um, dewy underneath my eyes, which I don't typically go for, but it's not overly dewy. It looks really flawless underneath the eyes, actually. Hmm. So I didn't actually take that much and it's actually covered really, really well. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference from side to side. Ignore that little blob, of course, but from side to side, I hope you guys can see it's not that bad and it doesn't feel too thick underneath the eyes granted i haven't used that much but i think i judged it too quick <laughs> i'm gonna try take a dab of this ivory concealer hopefully it won't be too light what i'm hoping is kind of like the ysl one it kind of looks like the ysl one actually i'm hoping it doesn't have that much coverage you know and i could just use it as like a brightener no that's gonna come out gray okay we're just gonna <laughs> no <laughs> so what i'm gonna have to do unfortunately i wanted to kind of test this formula as it is because it's apparently crease proof but i'm gonna have to brighten it a little bit with the conceal and define so far guys i'm not gonna lie to you for such a hydrating concealer it hasn't even hasn't even creased underneath my eyes like but for now i'm just gonna top it with a little bit of the conceal and define in 12.5 just to brighten the center of my face i'm happy nothing to complain about so now we're going to go in with another hydra matte product so this is a hydra matte translucent setting powder with hyaluronic acid once again and this is in the shade translucent so i think there's only one shade i'm not quite sure once again gold packaging and this is what it looks like okay so this one actually has a net in the middle the packaging reminds me of the nyx can't stop won't stop powder i'm gonna shake some out okay so this powder looks so finely milled oh yes it is it is very fine it's one of those powders when you dip in it just kind of poofs everywhere so maybe that net is there for a reason i've got some on my hand but it feels super silky so hmm, promising so i've got some on my sponge i'm just gonna look up and dab that underneath my eyes very flawless very finely milled Okay, so I've dabbed this powder in as much as I can, but it still seems to be there. So I'm going to need to dust it away. Got little glitters all over my face. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to take my brush and like try dust this. Ooh, my face feels really smooth. 
apart from the glitters the micro glitters on my face the actual skin looks really really flawless so they also came out with a new neutral translucent pressed powder so this is a matte finish uh, matte finish matte satin finish so this is what the packaging of this one looks like and it does come with a powder puff and this is a translucent powder so i think i'm going to use my brush and just oh, <coughs> whoa that is very very dusty loads of kickback from that um oh okay wow <laughs> yeah maybe not this one i feel like you can see on my face compared to the loose powder that i used i definitely feel like i can see this all around my face i'm gonna dip into my Too faced born this way powder just to get some color on my face i'm just gonna dab this everywhere okay so now i actually want to go in with that blue shade i it just it's calling to me it looks beautiful so i'm gonna take that on a brush but i've been loving blue on the lower lash line i'm also gonna dip back into that white shade up here and put that on the bottom inner half right here okay guys so i just did a couple things off camera i bronzed with the benefit hula toasted i put a tiny bit of blush on now we're going to move on to lips they have come out with six lipsticks in this collection i believe and they're called satin matte lip so yeah these are the new neutral lipsticks so i think i'm gonna go for let's open them all and swatch them all why not so this is what the packaging looks like they are gold with the cheetah print once again and then these are what the lipsticks look like so they do look like a matte finish so this shade is called cashmere cashmere whatever oh they swatch really nice they swatch really pigmented and creamy but yet they look matte the next one here is called stripped and this one looks like even more of a nude pink let me swatch it in front of you so you can see what i mean do you see how pigmented and like they just glide on yeah this one doesn't look like a shade that i would wear this is like baby pink nude the next one we have here is called velvet and this one's once again kind of like a movie pink so that is velvet there the next one we have is called vamped and it's kind of like a reddish brown color and that is that one there the next one we have is called thirst and this one looks like a pinky purpley type of color yep that one is there and last but not least we have the shade stiletto which is this red tone and i'll swatch that for you guys there so that is that to be honest with you guys none of the shades are really like standing out to me they don't have any peachy brownie nudes that i typically go for all of the nudes are kind of this one's peachy but it's not as deep as i like then this one's just like really light pink this one is like a deeper dusty pink and then they have like the dark reds and then the pinky color so none of them are really my style of nude i think i'm gonna go for the first one called cashmere but of course i am gonna use a lip liner so i'm gonna go in with the revolution glory lip liner which is a dark brown i'm just gonna apply that to the lips yeah super pigmented I feel like with nudes like this i like to go in with a gloss so i'm just gonna go ahead and top it with one of my favorite glosses this is uh the sheer lip gloss from revolution in the shade muse so i'm just putting a little bit of that on top yeah that is so much better so i'm gonna do my hair quickly and come back to you guys with the final look and my final thoughts okay guys and i'm back so here we have the final look what do you think i think it's really different compared to anything i've done before just because it is so shimmery and glittery everywhere i absolutely love this lip combo the lipstick and the lip gloss and the lip liner together are just like a dream combo this is like my everyday type of nude so let me quickly break it down the brow pencil i really enjoyed using i could definitely see myself using that again same with the brow gel the primer i will of course have to test it out a little bit more to get my feelings on it but so far so good the concealer i'm really enjoying how it looks underneath my eyes but then again it is mixed with one of my favorite concealers so i will have to try get my hands on like 12.5 or 12 in the um, creaseless concealer so i can just test this formula by itself but so far i don't know if it's creaseless but it definitely sits really nice and flawlessly underneath the eyes it's not as thick and sticky as it first appears so so far i'm quite happy with it the translucent powder is okay but i have powders that i enjoy more just because it is so poof 
you know airy fairy type of powder but once again it does look flawless on the face and it sits really nicely the pressed translucent powder however for my skin tone i wouldn't recommend it it did come out quite ashy and very you know powdery and very white cast type of looking so not my favorite the powders i really enjoyed but because there is like loads of glitter all over my face right now i don't know how i feel about it like if i wanted glittery eyeshadows like this i probably would just use a normal eyeshadow and top it with a liquid glitter it does look beautiful but i just don't like the whole glitter all over my face type of look so i'm mm, on the fence about the eyeshadows i personally wouldn't purchase it like just because i love my matte shadows so much and there's not really mattes in here the shimmers are gorgeous they are super creamy they apply really well but they do fall out all over your face so i'm gonna leave that decision up to you the lipstick formula is absolutely beautiful really opaque glides on really nice but the shade selection is just not really my thing i wish they had like a staple brownie peachy nude i just absolutely love like basically this color but in a tube I would love it so overall there's nothing that kind of blew me away that I'm thinking I need to add this to my everyday routine they're all like good products but there's nothing that's like amazing do you know what I mean I don't know those are just my thoughts anyway so yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comment section make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in my next one take care bye